Welcome back to OnChain Gaming News, your number one weekly series for all things crypto gaming news. In this week's episode, Metaverse users have reached an all-time low since the start of COVID, but that has not stopped a massive new $600 million fund to build the Metaverse. Week one and week two of Gala Games May Mayhem payouts have already gone to players. The FBI has named North Korea the country behind the accident the Infinity Hack, all of this and more in this week's episode. So we're gonna start off with not the greatest news, but it is to be expected. And this is that many countries are seeing the lowest participation in the metaverse since the beginning of COVID. This was recently reported by the South Korea Herald and the total time spent by each user has been falling as well. Now, this is something that should not surprise us. Obviously, when COVID lockdowns are lifted, people wanna go see the world and travel. I'm doing the same thing. Uh, currently, while you're watching this, I am either in or just getting back from Galaverse in Europe and that is a trip to Malta where I'm not really gonna be gaming that much uh, during that trip. I'm gonna be hanging out at the beach, but this has not stopped long-term metaverse bulls from continuing to invest in the metaverse. As Kevin Virgil recently reported, bear markets are for building the metaverse. Quote, if the bull market is a street party, then the bear market is the power washer that drives through the next morning to sweep the residual garbage and filth back into the sewer. And guys, I'm the first one to admit there has been a lot of shady metaverse games announced and a lot of shady uh, games have reached out to us trying to get promotion and we've been like, no. And all of these money grabbing projects that aren't actually trying to build something cool, guess what? They are gonna slowly disappear during this bear market. And the real projects that are really building the future of the metaverse, they're going to stay strong. They're gonna use this time to build and it's gonna make the next bull market a order of magnitude bigger than this bull market could have even dreamed to be. Talking about real projects continuing to build, there is a brand new game fund that was just announced called Games Fund One. Quote, Games Fund One is founded on the belief that games will play a pivotal role in defining how we socialize, play, and work over the next century. This Games Fund One is gonna be $600 million. Quote, we are proud to be joined in this fund by game industry leaders and visionaries, including the founder of Roblox, the founder of Discord, the founder of Riot Games, the founder of Blizzard, the co-founder of Sky Mavis, the founder of Twitch, the founder of Zanga, and the founder of King are all coming together to build this game fund one. And wow, my mind exploded by just the amount of talent here and the amount of success behind these names that are now going to be pouring the $600 million straight into building the future of the metaverse. Moving on to some stranger news that's actually becoming more and more common. Virgin Mobile is joining the metaverse, making it the very first telecommunications company to open up shop in the sandbox. This is part of Virgin Mobile's customer engagement strategy and this is what they had to say about it. Quote, the metaverse offers enormous opportunities to accelerate digital skill sets such as computer programming, content creation, gaming, and e-commerce. Content creators, gamers, and coders are encouraged to register with Virgin Mobile's community to gain access to the services and a host of exclusive experiences, content, and challenges. So it's really interesting that it seems like so many companies are now seeing the potential of the metaverse, even as the number of daily users is reaching lows, the vision and people's mind opening up to the opportunities here are reaching all time highs. One company that already has a bunch of content and a ton of challenges is our sponsor, Gala Games. And I just absolutely love what Gala Games is bringing to the metaverse. They are by far bringing some of the highest quality crypto games to the blockchain gaming space. And I think that not only is Gala already a leader, 
but will stay in the pole position of Metaverse Gaming for many years going forward. Some exciting news as May Mayhem is over, I am happy to announce that Gala has already started paying out the winners for each week of May Mayhem. The total paid out in the first two weeks of May Mayhem is already $1.525 million. And if you competed in week three or week four of May Mayhem, you're gonna be getting your rewards very soon. For those of you guys who missed May Mayhem, I am super sorry, but it is not too late to continue winning amazing play to earn crypto gaming rewards in the Gala Games ecosystem. So if you have not created a Gala Games account yet and you're excited for crypto gaming, what are you doing? Make sure you create a Gala Games account using my link in the description and start to see why I am so excited about the future of play to earn games. Moving on to some far less exciting news. I want to give you guys some of the facts about the Axie Infinity hack. It has been confirmed that the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, uh, which is kind of a lie of a name, AKA North Korea, is behind this cryptocurrency heist of Axie Infinity. Quote, the breach occurred when attackers gained control of a series of validator nodes. Most of you guys will already know this, attached to Axie Infinity to conduct fake withdrawals. The hackers stole 173,600 Ethereum and 25.5 million USD coins worth approximately the same amount as the game one fund that we announced beforehand. Three weeks after this initial attack and two weeks after it was disclosed, the FBI formally attributed the attack to the Lazarus Group, a nation state threat group tied to the North Korean government. So there you have it guys. North Korea is not only happy starving their own people, but they also have to starve all of us who are excited for metaverse gaming. Shame on you, North Korea. We cannot end with this super depressing news. Let's end with some really cool news, which is that GameStop is officially in the NFT gaming metaverse. They want to be in the future of gaming. And because of that, they have just launched the GameStop wallet, which is currently in beta and works with Ethereum. The GameStop wallet will also work seamlessly with GameStop's upcoming NFT marketplace, when it releases. The GameStop wallet is a non-custodial wallet, which means that you have complete ownership of everything in your unique wallet and you have a 64 digit key to access that wallet and GameStop has no control over it. So GameStop really embracing Web3 and I think that if they keep making the right decisions, like it seems like they've started to make here, GameStop really does have a future and might not just be a meme stock for that much longer. If you enjoyed this episode of on-chain gaming news, remember to drop a big thumbs up and hit subscribe to stay up to date for all things news in the metaverse. Make sure you click another video on the screen right now to keep watching. And until next time, everyone, have fun roaming the metaverse.